guys, welcome back to GTA 5. Today we've got another mod spotlight for you guys. We're looking at a mod called Truck Missions. That's right, if you ever wanted to play Euro Truck Simulator or a similar kind of game, but you don't have the money to splash out and you've already got GTA, well don't worry, you can jump into GTA and pretend you're driving a... Oh, was that Duncan? Just tase the fool! Oh <laughs> yeah, right in the butt. Right, okay, so here we are. Franklin has pulled up. And oh man, this new coil car is actually a real beast. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna be. Oh, oh man, hang on a sec. Oh shit, I think I'm at the wrong place. Some, some other guys already own this office. All right, so it looks like there's already two worker dudes outside the front. You know what? We can't deal with them. They can just live here if they want to. Press E to purchase the property. And oh yeah, here we go. We've unlocked the trucking missions. That sounds like the sirens going off behind me. Are they, are they onto me? Oh no, it looks like they're out on the call to respond to another crime. Lucky for me. Right, so what can we do? We can view available contracts. Oh, whoa, whoa. We can view available contracts. Oh, whoops. Oh, double mistake. Oh, God. Okay, how do I, um... All right, Franklin, you're gonna have to deal with them. Oh, yeah. Oh, in the face. And again. Oh, in the groin. Now, finish him. Oh, and his buddy. His buddy, too. Get out of my face, bitch. Oh, oh. Right, so we now own the property. Let's see what we can do. Use the number pad keys to select between the contract. You can see the available contracts. You can select the active truck. You can get some help if you need it. Or you can play custom missions. Now, if you want to make some trucking missions at home, you can definitely do that. It's a bit complicated, but there is a way to do it for this mod. Right, so let me show you what some of these trucks are and what they can do. Now, the first thing you start off with is the hauler. It's got a green finish, a nice little bit of yellow trim there, some chrome on the fuel tanks, six wheels of pure package delivering speed. Now, as soon as you can afford an upgrade, you can get access to what is called the Phantom. This is a nice purple beast. Oh yeah, look at that front grill. Oh man, if I could have sex with trucks and make truck babies, I would pick the Phantom any day of the week. But that's not enough. If you want to upgrade your experience, ditch your wife and get a younger model, you can select the Packer. That's right, this beast is painted red and that makes it go faster by default. But if you're looking to up your game, why not check out the military grade deliverer, the uh, the whatever this thing's called. I don't know what it's called, but it's it's dressed in camo. If you go into a war zone, I don't give a shit. If you're going down the road, even better. It's this weird, what is this called? A Zang Zancudo? Barracuda? It's a weird, massive, cool military truck, and it's definitely the best thing you can buy. So what you do is you get the first truck, which is kind of crappy, and then you work your way up through the trucks to get a better better truck that's better at carrying the cargo. So we're going to select the hauler because it's the first one that you're supposed to get and I reckon, you know, we, should, we shouldn't start with any handicaps. So now the hauler's activated, let's go back and see what available contracts there are. Now there's a Ron Tanker delivery for 5,000 and there's a Clucking Bell contract for 8 grand. I guess that's the version, the, I guess that's the GTA version of a cheeky Nando's. Right, well we're going to select the Ron Tanker delivery. Alright! So you can press H to attach a trailer and hold H to detach a trailer. Press 2 to quit. So where's my truck? This is my truck over here, the hauler. <laughs> oh yeah, looking badass. Nice military green sheen on the paint job. Oh sweet, so we get like a timer, a, a little kind of notification bar on the left that shows us exactly how much truck damage we've accrued. And so far we've only got 0%, which is a pretty good place to start with. Now we have to deliver, what was the contract for? Pick up the cargo. Oh, right, so you have to pick up the cargo first, and that's the blue dot on the map. No sweat. Oh, yeah, I got this in the bag. Yeah, nothing beats just plowing down the open road with the windows low, honking my truck horn. Oh, watch out. Oh, God. Now, I'm not sure how much damage you take when you nudge into something. I don't want to test it because what if I accidentally nudge something and take like 50% damage and I can't complete the mission because I've taken too much damage. Oh no, now it was easy driving out in the countryside because the traffic wasn't too bad. But now we're hitting the city centre and it looks like rush hour is about to dawn on us as the sun goes down. So we're going to have to be... Oh, oh no, the freeway! Oh god, I really hope, I hope we don't take too much truck damage here. And these cars are going so quick! Oh, excuse me! No! Oh wow, so I've got a bit of a scrape there, but I didn't take any damage. That's pretty lucky. Alright, so I think we must nearly be at the blue marker already. 
from driving for what feels like forever. In fact, let's check the map and find out exactly how far away we really are. Oh, whoa, this thing is miles away. Holy crap, these missions are real marathons. I've only got 98% health left. Better be careful. Oh, yeah, there it is. Look at that orange beauty. Okay, I'm just going to reverse up to this mother trucker. And, oh, I'm actually a mother trucker. That's pretty, uh, that's pretty cool. Right, here we go. Let's see if I can lock in. Oh, there it is. It's on. And let's pull away. Oh, it's, it's really difficult to drive. It's just like driving a real truck. Oh, all right. So things are going pretty well so far. I've buckled up my... Oh, oh, hang on a sec. Hey, can you let me through? I've got a, got a, got a delivery to make. I, um... Please? Now this, oh, this isn't fair. How am I supposed to make the guards go down? I'm gonna, I'm gonna take like a default. Oh no! If you go over, oh, whoops! If you go over it slowly, you don't take much damage from them. That's pretty lucky. Right, so I've got a full tank of fuel, and it's time to get it to the destination. Now, how far away is this on my map? The delivery is, holy crap sticks! It's all the way across the map. It's gonna take me an hour to get there. Whoa! Oh man! I was not... No! No! I wasn't looking where I was going! I was really on the side of the truck, and I just took out my truck! Holy crap! I did so much damage to myself! But actually, lucky, look at this! Only 16% truck damage and 7% cargo. That's pretty cool. I thought I would take a lot more from that crash. Holy crap. Okay, that's the last time I read the side of my truck. Whew! You know, this mission... You know, these missions would be really great if it didn't make me think of Ronald Weasley all the time. Put a bit of run in your tank, go on, go on, put a bit of run in your tank. Oh hey look, it's another cargo container with exactly the same thing on it. Wow, that's pretty cool. I guess maybe he's going to the same place. Oh, that would make sense actually, if we were actually delivering this to an oil refinery, that makes a lot of sense. I could stop, I, ooh, I could stop off for some guns over there. Oh, it looks like it's almost advertising for me. Oh no, it's Ron Gas. Oh, I get it now, right, so I'm shipping Ron. Oh man, look at that pink beastie car. Okay, keep my eyes on the road, keep my eyes on the road. Do not look away from the road. We know what happened last time. Oh my god. We do not want a repeat of the uh, of the fire hydrant incident. Okay, so it looks like I'm coming off the motorway now. Thank god. A lot less traffic down here, so it should be a lot safer. Oh, but I'm picking up speed. Got to be careful. Got to be super careful around this bend. There we go. Oh, beautiful. What an expertly taken corner. Now, it might not seem it because you guys can't feel how hard it is to control, but driving around with a massive trailer behind you is actually really tough. Oh man, we've got a t Oh, watch out! Whoa! Whoa! Holy crap, almost lost it there. Alright, looks like I've arrived at my destination. And oh yeah, there's plenty of Ron, Ron tanks over here. So let's just drive in here and drop off the cargo. Oh no! Oh man, I took like loads of damage there at the last second. Like 3%. Okay, deliver the cargo to the destination. Where is that exactly? Oh, this thing is so hard to control. Go on, get off! Oh, for Christ's sake! Oh my god, this cargo is going to be the death of me. Oh, bloody hell, I just trashed the cargo. Alright, there we go. Only 2% extra cargo damage. So now let's just drop it off at the location. Detach the trailer. Oh, 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 look. Detach the trailer. Right, H. Wasn't it H? There we go, good job. Here's your paycheck. $4,500 or $4,300. That's pretty cool. That means if I do another one of these missions, I've already paid for the hauler itself. Right, so we tried the Ron Tanker delivery and that was pretty easy, so we're going to select the Clucking Bell contract now. That's right, it's time to pick up a cheeky Nando's and deliver it down the road. Let's pick up our new vehicle, we've got the barracks now, and this is a mean machine. So we're going to get inside this, and this is going to be like super easy, we're just going to glide down the roads. Not a problem in sight, not an obstacle we can't crush in our military grade courier machine. Oh man, now this thing is super quick as well. Putting the pedal to the metal gets you to up around at least 55 kilometers per hour. Crazy. That's crazy speed. Ludicrous speed. I swear, Warp 10 ain't got shit on the barracks. Oh man, it looks like we're actually driving out to a ranch to pick up some actual chickens inside a cargo container. That's crazy. It's crazy. So crazy. All right, so we drive through here, through the barn. Oh, easy does it. Oh, and there we go, the cargo container. Now, oh my god, this thing is so hard to drive. We're gonna have to reverse and back up into here to pick up this cargo container. No sweat. 
Oh yeah, Cluckin' Bell, 110% meat. Pretty fantastic. And then we'll take a left here. Oh man, these dirt roads are crazy hard to get around. Whoa! Yeah, the brakes are non-existent on this thing. And so is my hood. Holy shit, where'd the hood go? That's okay, though. It's okay. It's okay. It's all good. It's still good. It's still good. We can still drive it. It's still drivable. It still goes forward. Oh my god, there's a cow on the road. Out of the way! Coming through! Son of a gun. Oh crap, missed my turn. Right, so we're on the freeway now, but honestly, so far it's been a little bit too easy. So I'm going to enable a new mod I've got called Plane Hails. And what this does is it basically lets planes fall from the sky and uh, presumably explode upon impact and just litter the ground with just aviation wreckage. So we want to make this quite difficult for ourselves. So let's just increase the plane count to, let's say, oh, that's probably a bit too much. Let's say about 50, maybe 40 planes. Yeah, 40 planes and increase the radius. Let's give it a radius of like, oh, I think 200 sounds about good. In fact, we can probably handle about 50 planes. Right, so let's start the plane again and get going. Oh my God, holy shit. What is going on? Ah! Shit, no, the chicken. I've got to get the chicken. I've got to get the chicken back. Holy shit, no, come back here, chicken. Oh my God, no, where's the chicken? Ah! Fuck. <laughs> oh my god! Why is there a golden plane? I'm on fire! I'm on fire! No! 110% damage! Get out! Run! Run, Franklin! Holy shit! No! Put the phone down! Oh, oh no! No! Oh shit! It doesn't stop! Well, guys, uh, this has been a look at the trucking mod for GTA 5 and also the Plane Again mod as well that lets you have planes falling from the sky and exploding all around you in a mess of death and chaos. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. What, what the frick? Let's just see how long I can survive without just getting blown to hell. survive this all right guys well thanks for watching another gta mod spotlight on the trucking missions mod it was a really cool experience riding around dropping off cargo oh no <laughs> dropping off cargo and delivering it to its destination it's a cool way to make extra scratch and it's a fun mod to check out and mess around with and if you've got the plane again mod as well that's even cooler as well holy shit don't look up Franklin. don't look up all right well until next time guys take care <laughs>